Welcome to the channel. In this video, what I want to do is talk about a possible immersion breaking scenario, which can happen if you decide to do a realistic start prior to 1930. And what this does is it relates to the getting a realistic fuel supply for your um, horse driven vehicles and your steam vehicles. Now, before I describe the problem, I just want to give a bit of a disclaimer that I'm recording this in October 2022. So there's a very real possibility that Nova will update his mods or somebody else will come up with another solution to this problem. To give you some context, if you start prior to 19, um, the reason I'm saying 1930, because if you play on the Soviet model, it's only until about 1930 when you start getting the fuel driven trucks. Prior to that, what you tend you have if i come in here and find the open holes what you find is that if you start between 1900 and 1907 you start with horse drawn vehicles and if you after 1907 then you start getting steam driven vehicles as well i think the only personal car that's available is the stanley steamer but i'm not sure whether that needs coal or fuel and the other thing you also need to remember is I've subscribed to virtually every possible early vehicle mod that I can find on the workshop. And if you want to play on an early start, it's something you do need to do because vehicle types are in short supply at this period of time, especially with respect to the Soviet Union. If I come over to here and show you the equivalent uh, open holes here, what you will find is in the NATO office, you get loads and loads of trucks. So if you're in a situation like this, you could easily start early. In fact, what was the when was these trucks come available? These, but again, a lot of these trucks only come available in 1904, 1908. Now the dilemma is that when you start in realistic mode, the only free um, station you get, which you've got to put down, is actually a gas station. Actually, we'll just put that down. I'm just going to do a little bit of basic construction. Where uh, oops, don't want a free. Just put a free depot in. Also, going to need a distribution office. So, we'll just put the free distribution office in. And of course, we're going to need a free construction office. This will make sense. So, we're going to put a construction office in as well. And this is what you get as a normal start in realistic mode. But of course, and some of you spot that horses are not meant to drink gas and, and technically steam is meant to run on coal. In the mod, there is, if we come to gas stations, there's a, options that allow you to do it. So you can get a steam fueling station here, like that. And also there's a horse feeding station. But of course, the problem now is that you have to build those and of course, if I come in here and I think to build this, we're going to need, um, we're going to need a, we'll go for steam. We need a steam open hole because it's, uh, these need asphalt boards. Okay. So we're going to need a dump steam dumper. Um, I think we'll just go, what's this? This year is 18. I think we'll just get a, I mean, this is only for demo purposes anyway. We're going to need a steam driven bus, a traction bus. And of course, we've got no excavators or anything like that. I think that's all we need, isn't it, to build this? We've got an open hole, a dumper. I've got a dumper. What have we got in here? Sorry. <laughs> Let me just let the game run. And of course, we'll need to set the. That up what i want to do is turn off the auto detect and we're going to start with the horse drawn feeder and that's the open hole that's the bus and then what we should have is the dumper come out here of course we've got no fuel in the gas station we're going to need uh, an oil tanker so we'll get a steam driven oil tanker there we're also going to need a covered hole for later on. And you see what's happened is these vehicles have come here and they're waiting for the, oops, to speed the game up a bit. 
Because we'll be here forever. And what you see is we've got the the dumper has now gone out to go and get the gravel. But if you look at his fuel situation, his fuel situation is already going down. So if I let this run, what will happen is that this guy will run out of fuel. Okay, welcome back. What you'll see is effectively all he's done is dropped off one load of gravel. Now he's come back and said that he's got no fuel and he can't do anything else. So what? So we can fix the problem by doing this, but this is where the uh, immersion breaking can kick in. Because if we do this, what it means is our, our steam traction engines are now going to be running on uh, fuel. So we're just going to let that run and I'll just show you what will happen. So what we've got now is the traction engine here has got fuel. If you keep an eye on the dumper down here, once he's delivered the fuel, actually let's just change this, that's 30% anyway. Um, and you can see here now what's happening is all the vehicles are heading straight for the gas station to fill up because they need the fuel. And that's how the game works. So we're now in a situation where we, we are building this force feeding station. But we have one thing you do need to wear, be aware of, this actually needs power. And there's also something we need to do to prime this when it's actually built. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let the game run and we're going to build this uh, horse feeding station and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. We've got two days left to build and the uh, our little Transact steam bus here is delivering the workers. I've already broken the road to the gas station. What we're going to see now is this is going to get built. And what I'm going to do is allocate this to here. But if we come into here, what you will see is it will say building without power supply. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to put in. Uh, oops, what we're going to do now is set up the cupboard hole and the distribution office to deliver crops here. I'm just going to deliver crops to here. 30% uh, would be enough. Let's be a few tons that we don't need to put in too much. So, and of course, what what we're going to do is get our construction crew working on this. What should happen is even if this guy puts crops into here, it these will not use this as a fueling station because it needs to be primed with ordinary fuel. But I want, what I want to do is a little bit of a test just to see if it will actually work. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to buy, we've got our oil tanker here. Right, we've now got fuel in here. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to add this. That's it, this building is already assigned. Okay. New Hope feeding station. Right, what we're going to do is just going to add both to this. But what you see is we keep an eye on this fuel tanker, he won't move. Because if you actually look at the station here, there is no storage for fuel. So if we put this back to crops. Now, the test I want to do is if we buy another oil tank here, buy you. And get you here and what we're going to do is tell you to pick up there and of course what we can do is now assign him to here if we tell him to pick up fuel and tell him to go and we'll get him to pick up some fuel because i'm very curious to find out whether he will drop off fuel here without power so we're a little bit of uncharted waters here. Now bear in mind what I'm doing here would also apply to the steam. He's got six tons of fuel in here. And let's see if he will unload the fuel. He might not unload the fuel because there's actually um, no power to here. So he's dropped off a ton of fuel. 
But that ton of fuel has effectively just disappeared. Right, so we're going to set. So he's one of his prime there. There. So we're, what we're going to do is send you back to the depot. And of course we. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cheat a little bit here. We're going to come up to here. I'm going to turn off realistic mode. Where is it? Disabled. Because what we're going to do is put in a a power uh, source. So what we're going to do is power plant. Shove you in there. And I'm just going to auto build this to save time. You see that that steam engine's got indicators on it. <laughs> so we're just going to fund this. We'll fund it with dollars. And what we've got now is actually power to here. And what I'm interested in is to see whether these guys will now start using this as a gas station, which they are. So we were able to prime the the actual fuel here. And the way it works is that once you've primed it with one shot from here. So this is a way that you can get this set up is by doing this and building the horse feeding station and the windmill. But obviously you've got the possible immersion breaking on that. But once you've got it running, now I know we're not on here, but so if you had, we had wagons, you could do it like this. And you also got the uh, coal station here for the steam power trains. But to me, that feels a bit cumbersome. So my inclination would be, well, I'll just demonstrate it very quickly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quit out, come back on the same map and probably show you something which to me is more slightly more immersive so i'll see you once we come back onto the map okay welcome back guys what i'm going to do is just put together the similar situation to what we are now but we won't need a what we're going to need is a depot and a distribution office so where's the distribution office haha <laughs> uh, we'll just put the free distribution office in what I'm going to do now is we're just going to come to gas stations and what I'm going to do is jump straight to the we got a steampunk fueling station here it's interesting got gas asphalt not that I've got no idea what the steampunk one punk one looks like okay oh uh, we'll, we'll put in this one And then obviously we're going to need a wind turbine to power it. Power plants. Put it there. Like that. And of course, because I've reloaded the map, uh, we're just coming to here. Um, do, 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 realistic mode. Disable temporarily. And what I'll do is just auto build this we'll keep it fair by doing it with rubles like that so we've now got this area set up and then what we'll do is i'm just going to flip it back to realistic mode enable and what i want to do is find out whether we can actually get this set up as a so what we're going to need here is we're going to need an oil tank to prime it. Although technically what I could have done, in fact, I'll show you that as well. So I'm just going to flip back to, uh, it might be cheaper to do it this way, actually. So disable again, we messed the game up. What I would suggest, if you're going to go this route, do it and then drop a save and then come back in and start with it. What you can do is here, because we've disabled this, we do don't auto purchase just by uh so you can buy point i think all you got to do is buy the minimum you don't need to buy a ton so we can go there go back into realistic mode enable and then all we got to do then is come into here get a dumper get a, i think probably um I think I've probably invested a heavy steam dumper to keep this going. So we're just going to let the game run. Load to get into it. 
Pick up coal, unload. And then, just as an example, if we put a free construction office up here. In Word, just populate it with spherical's Oops. so uh get a open hole and we're gonna get a steam open hole uh bus and got a bulldozer have a bulldozer i think we've got a road crane as well we have a steam road road crane What this guy should do is go and deliver some coal. Now, if this works accordingly, well, that is this guy now, because they've got no jobs, but you can see he's low on fuel. So he will now trundle out here. In fact, they should all come out and fill up with coal. You can see he's now full up. Which way you go, guys, is totally up to you. But personally... I think just doing this very this little fix at the beginning of the map and setting the, the a, a, a one coaling station up close to the border is probably more immersive than actually using a fuel tank. But do remember that as time moves forward, you will need to bring in the free gas station. And the problem is then is that the if whether you're using the horse feeder, the steam um, fueling station or the ordinary gas station up here if we put a free one in up here the moment you put fuel in this free gas station then the the horse well drawn vehicles and the steam vehicles will always go to the nearest fueling station irrespective of what it is so you won't be able to get complete immersion to me i think doing this to set the map up and I know that it's possible to actually create a 1900 start with these facilities on. To be honest, I'm reluctant to do that. One, because it locks it into a mod. And two, it just takes away that option from the start date. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. If you've got any comments or opinions, feel free to chuck it into the video description. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.